when someone comes to you and says, this is the best laser, or this is the best table saw, or that is the best router, your first question should be compared to what? And you see some people, they only have one laser, they go online, they do reviews, they say, this is the best laser, but what are they comparing it against? Well, in my shop right now, at this moment, I have the longer 10 watt laser, I have the longer 30 watt laser, I have the Creality Falcon 2 20 watt, 22 watt laser, and I have the x -Tool D1 Pro 20 watt laser, and I can honestly tell you this is the best laser money can buy, or I should say the best 20 watt diet laser the money can buy. Because if you can go and buy a CO2 laser or you can buy a X tool 40 watt laser, that is probably going to be better than this one. But I am going to tell you why I believe this, why the X tool 20 watt D1 Pro is the best. I'm also going to tell you what I don't like about it because it wouldn't be an honest review if we don't talk about the bad things. So I'm going to touch on that as well. Now let's talk about the price. This is not a cheap laser. This laser costs $994. So the price is right up there, but I'm not going to say that's a negative because even though it costs a lot of money, it is worth every penny. Uh, premium craftsmanship and good quality tools do cost money and that's just the reality of it. And you know, I don't mind that the price, I think it's a good, good deal and it's worth every penny. Now, if you do decide to purchase this laser, please use the link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. That means to no cost to you, I will earn a small percentage. Now I'm going to show you some samples of some things you can do with this laser, some cut tests, what I use it for. And then we're going to go a little bit into what makes this the best laser and what I don't like about it. And also remember, I told you that I have four lasers right now in my shop. I will only keep one of them because I do not have space for all of them. So in the end of this video, I will tell you which one I decided to keep. And I think that is going to surprise you. But unfortunately, I only have space for one. So I have to get rid of three. When I use my laser, I use it. I'm a woodworker, so I use it for cutting wood. I don't do a lot of engraving. I will show you some engraving samples. But most of my review is going to be from a woodworker's perspective. This is the kind of stuff that I do with the laser. Here is a box that I did out of solid hard maple and paduk. And as you can see, everything gets cut with the laser here. Well, you can't tell it's cut with the laser because, you know, it did such a good job and I sent it down the burnt parts. But it does an excellent job of cutting wood to do these beautiful box joints. And I also cut out this inlay with the laser really really easy to do and you know if i didn't use a laser you couldn't do this kind of detail with just a router so laser comes in really really handy for inlays and wood and like you see with box joints here so this is a box that i did 100 percent with the laser and then here is another cute box that i did with the laser and i think this one is really fantastic the same hard maple and paduk this one i didn't send the burnt parts i could have sent it i just didn't do it this was more like a prototype i wanted to try it and see what it would look like and i think it ended up so so cute and this is the kind of things you can do with your laser as a woodworker now Let's talk about engravings. I did this engraving with the X tool D1 Pro 20 watts. And look at the quality of this engraving. I'm gonna get out of the frame so you can focus. But out of all the lasers I've ever tried, this gave the best quality engraving. The blacks are really black. The light colors stayed light. The lines are crisp and just, so much detail. I mean, this is the best engraving I've seen from a machine. And I wish I would do more engraving. I don't do so much, but I mean, it's so good. I was so impressed with the quality of engraving. I also tried to engrave um, on a stainless steel business card and my powers were too high, but I wanted to see if I can get that color engraving, if, if I can pull out colors from the stainless steel. And the problem is my power was too uh, high, so the card bent. 
And because it bent, it was getting caught into the laser module. It was getting dragged around, so I had to stop it early. But you can tell I got some blue and some red in there. And I need to get some thicker stainless steel that I can do this kind of test. But I had to stop it, you know, early because it was moving it around. However, I tried on this dog tag and I don't know if you can see this in camera, but I just did a circle and it came out blue. I'll take a picture of it outside and show it to you just so you can see it, it did pull out blue. Then I tried a coaster engraver engraving on a slate. Now, like I said, I don't usually do engraving. This one, I definitely went too deep, so we don't get that really bright white color. It's just more like of a gray. I definitely chipped away the, the slate pretty good, so I need to mess around more with the settings on that one. And uh, what else I engraved? Oh, I engraved this um, coated powder coated aluminum business card and I look at the details on this the light is reflecting and I don't think you can see very well but I mean there's so much detail and they are such a beautiful engraving I was blown away with the quality of the engraving and this laser uh, the settings for this one I use uh, 60 uh, speed 20 power so this is what I use for this engraving and it was just a PNG file I think was so so nice then like I said I'm a woodworker so I needed to cut wood can I cut wood I don't work with um, plywood most of the laser reviews you see they use that two or three millimeter uh, bass plywood I don't use that I use hardwood because that's what I work with in my shop so I went ahead and did a few tests. This is a um, hard maple. It's an eighth of an inch board. I cut a little circle and I did it with speed three power 85 and it cut it perfectly. I will insert the clip. I took little clips of how we cut this. Now, when I received this machine, it did not come with air assist. And that's why you will see these scorching marks which is not a big deal for you know engraving or cutting. You can just send them down, but if you do have the air assist, you will not get this. You'll get way cleaner cuts and no burn marks. So keep that in mind when you see these burn marks, it's because I have no air assist. So that was the one eighth of an inch hard maple. And then I went to a quarter inch hard, hard maple. And for this one, I did speed three, power 85, and I did two passes. And you can see the scorch marks because, again, I did not have the air assist. And nice, clean cut. Cut through the quarter inch with no problem. So that was hard maple. Then I tried some walnut because I work with a lot of walnut. It's my favorite wood to work with. Uh, walnut and hard maple are my two favorite woods to work with. So I took a... There's an airplane flying by. Um, I took a quarter inch walnut and I did speed for 100% uh, power one pass and it cut through it with no problem and very nice clean cut so walnut not an issue then I figured okay let's try a little bit thicker walnut so this time I took an 11 millimeter piece of walnut right here solid wood 11 millimeter I wrote it on the back and this one I did speed 28, no, speed 2.8, 100% uh, power, two passes. And it gave me really nice clean cut, not an issue at all. So then I went a little bit thicker. And this time I went with 13 millimeter walnut, solid walnut. And I went with speed 3, power 85, and four passes this time. So you see big chunk of wood over here and this is 13 millimeters and it cut through it with no problem at all so i was very very happy with that i mean for small projects like boxes and stuff you never really work with material that is thicker than this so then i decided to push it a little bit so i went and found a scrap piece of pine in my shop this is a three quarter inch pine 
So I went to speed of three power 100 and I took four passes for this three quarter inch pine over here. Lots of burn marks because like I said, I do not have an air assist. So I got a lot of scorching and it cut pretty much all through it except this hairline over here, just a tiny little bit, a couple of um, fibers of the wood was not cut through. But I could have tried to go maybe a little bit slower or do one more pass. I just, it was already like pushing it and I didn't want to start the fire. So I stopped with that. I bet I could have went through maybe if I defocused the laser. So those are the cutting tests. Now let's talk a little bit about what makes this laser the best. All right, let's see. I made some notes. I don't want to forget anything. So I better get my notes. By the way, before I even get to the notes, before I forget, um, the glasses, the safety glasses that comes with the laser, they come with a nice hard case. I thought that was such a nice touch. All the other lasers I got, the glasses are just in a Ziploc bag, but this one comes with a nice case. So that was a nice touch. Let's talk about the pros. What makes this laser the best laser? Well, first of all, it's just premium. From the moment you open the box, it's just quality. Everything is nicely packaged. The frame, the rails, everything is just really, really good quality. Um, I really like the way they have these stainless steel bowls that it rides on this rod for the laser module. I think that will last you a lifetime. Uh, I love the color. I know the color doesn't affect the performance, but just who doesn't love red? It's such a good color. I was hoping when they said they will send me the laser, I was hoping they wouldn't send me the gray ones. And I was, you know, crossing my fingers, but they did send me the red one and I was very, very happy with that. So the quality of the frame, it is solid. Um, I love the way they have the belts are inside the frame. The frame is like a C shape and the belts are inside so it doesn't interfere with the laser and the cables moving around. The cable management, it's great. It's not the best, but it's really, really good. I thought I love the way the laser focuses. The, the focusing little knob is over here on the right side that you can just flip down and focus. And another good touch they have, they added another knob on the right side and this is for defocusing your la uh, laser. So now you can go between zero and six millimeter for very fine adjustments to defocus your laser. The software, when you get this laser, it comes with free um, Xtool software. So if you do not want to buy Lightburn, you don't have to because it does have free software and you can pretty much do a lot of things with their free software but I do recommend you get Lightburn because you will get much more um, freedom to do whatever you want to do. There's a lot more functions and I, I love using Lightburn. That's what I use. The laser connected really easily to their software and that's where I did a um, firmware update and that worked really, really nice, seamless. I didn't have to struggle with it. It didn't disconnect. Everything just worked really, really nicely. And then connecting it to Lightburn, it also worked really, really well. Now, Xtool, it's a very well-established brand. Even if you've never had a laser, you probably heard about Xtool. And that is important because it's not just a name. Because it's an established brand, that means they also have all the accessories. Anything you could imagine that you've seen on lasering, Xtool has it. That means also they have replacement parts. If so, you should need to replace a part, you know they will have it. And that is very important versus, uh, you know, who knows what brand that you get from AliExpress. You might never be able to contact their um, customer service and get a part for your laser that who knows where it was made. Xtool is there for you and they have lots of replacement parts. Now I have two YouTube channels. I have my woodworking channel and I have a photography channel and I've dealt with a lot of people um, over the last two years of YouTubing. And I can tell you, I've talked to two people from Xtool. One person is the one that sent me this uh, laser for review for you guys, so thank you. And then there was another person that contacted me from Xtool that wanted to send me their CO2 laser for review. And unfortunately I had to turn that one down because well, it was just too big and I do not have the space in my shop for it. 
But from all the people I had to deal with over the last two years of YouTubing, x -tool, they were the nicest people, the easiest to work with. And I think that is very important because one day you might have to deal with the people that work for x -tool and it's good to know that they are nice people that you can work with and they will help you if you need help. Now, like I said before, there are some drawbacks to this laser. Um, there are some things that I think they could improve on and that's what I'm gonna talk about it right now. The first thing I think they need to improve with is air assist. All top of the line lasers come with integrated air assist and this laser does not. So of course you can go and buy it separately, but that's another $170 or something like that. And I just wish it came with it because it is essential, especially if you do cutting. If you just do engraving, um, you don't really need air assist, but for cutting, you do need it. Another thing if you do a lot of cutting is you need a honeycomb grid and um, you don't need it for engraving, but for cutting, you do need it. And it doesn't come with it, but I don't think that's a negative. Um, most lasers do not come with honeycomb grid. You buy that separately. But the air assist, I do think it is essential and they should include it on this price. My biggest problem with this laser though is the exposed electronic board. And I'm going to show you, I'm gonna insert a um, picture right now. All the electronics are exposed on, within the inside of the frame. And that is not an issue if you have an Etsy shop and all you do is engraving and you work from your basement and everything is clean and you know, there is not a problem at all. But for me, I work in a woodworking shop and there's always dust and stuff flying around and I do not want my electronics to be exposed like that. And lastly, the third thing I think XTool could improve is their connection cable. Now, because I'm a photographer, I run a lot of uh, software for editing photos and stuff like Photoshop, Lightroom and so on. And because of that, I have one of the best top of the line computers out there. And my computer does not come with a USB port. Most new computers these days, they come with USB-C ports. And I wish this laser will connect to my computer just with a USB-C port. I do not like this USB port that I have to use one of these Judy key to make it work with my computer. So that's just a little thing, but you know, it does matter to me. Now remember how I told you in the beginning of the video that I have four lasers, but I would only keep one. And for me, I would be keeping the longer uh, 30 watt laser. Even though this laser is a better laser than my longer 30 watt, my longer 30 watt has more power. So that's the reason I'm keeping it because like I showed you, I do a lot of cutting and power matters to me. Also my longer has air assist and I have an enclosure for it, which for this laser I do not have. And I know I could upgrade and get more power and I could buy the air assist and I could buy an enclosure, but those are money out of my pocket that I don't need to spend because I already have a laser that does everything I needed to do. If I was, if I had no lasers right now and I was on the lookout to buy a really good laser, I think I would have went with the X tool, the one, 40 watt laser. I think that would have fit my needs a lot better. But this la laser, don't let it um, discourage you. This laser, it's very, very powerful. It is very, very good. I think it's the best in its class and I cannot recommend it enough. Now, I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.